Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Daniel Benoit here. I am the founder of the ECBRO, the East Coast Bigfoot Researchers Organization. And a lot of you guys that are viewing this are either new to this YouTube channel or been here for the last so many years. And our YouTube channel is growing tremendously, little by little. And I'm gonna tell you what, it's come a long ways. And I wanna thank you for all the new subscribers we have over 200 new subscribers just within a month and a half's time, which has been awesome. Um, hopefully, we can keep that momentum going. And for those who are new here that haven't been following too much of my older videos, I have a lot of uh, educational um, videos that I used to put out um, with basic information. And that's what I'm here for tonight. So, you know, you have a lot of Bigfoot enthusiasts and other fellow researchers who when they see a new video that's put up on YouTube or whatever it may be, uh, you have those who like to watch and study the background. Uh, when you're walking through the woods, um, sharing the scenery or whatever it may be. Um, I mean, I, I've been getting a lot of it over the last several videos, uh, which I'm going to tell you, I appreciate it. It's awesome. Keep looking because when you guys throw out timestamps about seeing something, it gives me something to go back and look at to double check. And I'm able to slow the videos down and analyze to the best of my ability. But with that being said, there's something you guys have to be aware of. Videos, when they get uploaded to YouTube, and this ain't all the videos, it depends on how strong of an internet connection you have. Um, my videos, when they're recorded, they're very sharp, very clean. But when they get uploaded to YouTube, the quality changes. That's right. Your pictures in your video footage is not the clearest. When they get uploaded to YouTube, there's a distortion and they are blurry um, in some instances, mainly in the background, especially during movement. You have to remember that. They're not sharp, clear images. Um, that's the quality that YouTube does, unless you have certain settings. You could set something at a high quality up, you know, high, excuse me, a high quality resolution. Um, again, if I had strong enough internet to do so, I would be doing that. Um, so when these people are watching these videos, they'll leave a comment saying, look at such and such timestamp. And sometimes because of the blurry pixelation, sometimes it does look like there's darker shadows or images in the background of something that might be standing there or maybe something that moved across. Now, I believe that happens. Um, you know, I believe that's very possible that we may not see something in our videos. But you have to be careful on what you're looking at. I don't want you guys to stop doing what you're doing. It helps us out. It gives us something to go back and review. Um, which again, I'm able to go through my videos and I can slow it way down and watch every little movement. And I've been doing so. And again, the results were the pixelations shifting. If you understand what the pixelations and the blur combined are in these videos, you'll see that through the slightest movement, they do shift. And not just to mention the other trees and the limbs that are mixed and blend with all this pixelation is creating something that's not there. Um, for those who are actually seeing things and that we're not, maybe you really are. But then again, you have to ask yourself, is it pareidolia? Or is it simply the result of a blurry uploaded video? So now another thing I want to bring up to your attention, for those who may not understand or know what tree burls are, that's right, tree burls. Um, they are very common in certain forests. Uh, down in Virginia, uh, we have them all throughout the national forest. But here in Pennsylvania, where we've been doing our latest investigations, the forest is heavily loaded with them. Everywhere you look, some high, some low, big and small, tree burls are notorious for being in these forests. As you've been seeing some of the examples here, these are what you're seeing in most of, in most of the videos. Uh, with some of the time, uh, time stamp comments that people are leaving, when I go back to look at them, 
that's what some of these images are. And, you know, I was talking to Julie, who's in these videos with me. She said the same thing. Even I already was thinking it, but she's like, all they're seeing is those tree burls. They're everywhere. And sure enough, they really are. They really are. So this is just a little tidbit of what I want to throw out there at you guys. Something to consider and to keep in mind. Because a lot of people are seeing things, again, that are not really there. So... Uh, I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm just trying to inform you because there's people that are seeing things and they're just simply misinformed and not aware of what's in the forest. And that's another reason why we like to take you on these journeys. Regardless if we see anything or witness anything, we still want you there. So I hope you guys continue to watch our field videos because um, we got some more investigations going on. We got more field videos coming up. Um, but yeah, we, we like to share the scenery and kind of show you what we're seeing. Um, if we ever capture a Bigfoot on the video, man, that's going to be awesome. And if we're that fortunate, we will be glad to share that with you. But continue watching. You never know what might turn up. Thank you, guys. Until next time. I'm your host, Daniel Benoit.